Hello everybody, welcome back to this DCS Liberation campaign for the Syria map. We are on turn number three, and um, for our last flight, we were unsuccessful hitting this SA-6 site here. Uh, we were able to launch, and we just didn't get any hits on target uh, using the JSOs, the cluster bomb um, versions of those, with the F-16. So we do have some follow-up strikes today to help take care of that. And I'm also sitting in those mirages uh, to take out Tapka again. Uh, they were unsuccessful <laughs> last time. So hopefully they can get in there this time. I'm providing a little bit better cap support. Um, additionally, I've been looking into the, um, the F-22s, why they're not engaging with any of the AMRAMs, the D models or C models. And what I think is going on, because I don't have the D model AMRAM uh, installed, uh, they'll fire if I'm not in game, but if I'm in game, um, they won't. So I'm giving them all the uh, Charlie versions of the Amarams um, to see if they can help out. So that is um, something I've been doing in the kind of the background, doing a little bit of testing here and there. Uh, as for my flight today, um, I'm jumping back in the uh, A-10. It's been a while, uh, so hopefully my muscle memory and everything will be fine. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take out the A-10, uh, four ship out of Inseric, and we're going to support this Western front here, doing a little cast, um, pretty, a lot of units here for the cast. So, um, yeah, we'll have to be careful and I am being covered by, uh, putting a tar cap in the area as well. Some F-15s to keep, uh, the MiG, there's a lot of MiG-23s and a lot, a lot of MiG-29s around. Uh, I also have a fighter sweep, some F-16s coming in before we get there. As well as the F-22 is providing cap, <laughs> general tar cap in the area. So I'm trying to be very protective of our cast flights as well. Uh, additionally, I do have some uh, Tarawas coming off the, uh, the, or yeah, Harriers coming off the Tarawa uh, to soften up Hate here for us to take. So there, I'm putting in a BIA strike going in here. And then lastly, um, I am sending uh, some Hornets to take out these two, um, these two, uh, I think these are frigate, no, Corvettes here. Yeah, we want to take out these Corvettes. So uh, I'm sending a six ship uh, as well as a two ship um, escort of Hornets uh, to try to take these out. So get in and get out and uh, hopefully they'll launch on them and that is it. Yep, still just trying to peck at the perimeter of all these SAM sites and stuff. Very good. Yeah. So the key objective really is to take uh, Topka. Um, I got my front lines on elimination and trying to take this. Uh, it's going to be a pretty big battle on both fronts today. A lot of ground units on both sides. Uh, money's starting to become an issue with me. I lost a lot of planes that last round. Uh, they took out a couple of my SAMs. So I replenished them and replenished only just a few planes. Uh, but their economic strength, um, economics are much higher than mine. And it's going to be um, quite a battle moving on. Uh, I do have a strong advantage in my aircraft right now, but that will diminish as my funding is going to become more and more of an issue. Okay, uh, enough of that. Uh, let's jump into the uh, A-10. Uh, as for weather today, we have clear, no rain, no fog. Awesome. It is 5 a.m., so we will have a dark start here in the morning. Uh, but it should be light by the time I get over target. We'll see. Okay, with that, let me jump into the game, and I'll see you in just a sec. Howdy, howdy. Uh, we are in the A-10, and not too bad. The sun is coming up. So let's go ahead and... Get that inverter going. I might be a little rusty here in my startup. <laughs> that should be all right, though. All right, so we got the inverter battery on. Let's turn that inverter on. Get our comms all set up here. Three six zero. One zero and flight is on two three two. That's what I thought. Okay. 
Uh, let's go ahead and put flight on channel two. Put you on channel one. So you is a uh, insert. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and switch. Pontiac one one request startup. Pontiac one one cleared for startup. Wind two four one at three meters per second. All right, cool. Leave that on that. Okay, so we've got inverter on. Inverter on. Let's go ahead and check our oxygen level. Very good. And put that on main. And 5,900 pounds. Good. Dusting fuel. Ooh, I'm rusty. Okay. Uh, APU. And I do need to Yep, the throttles first. I don't know why I always forget. Because I fly the hornet a lot. <laughs> Alright, APU is ready. Let's turn on the APU generator. And let's get some, introduce some fuel into that left engine. Engine boosts are on, fuel pumps are all up and up and going, and the AC generator is already on. So, very good. Good engine light. All right, let's kick that right engine on. Good engine start. Just gonna kick off the APU generator and kick off the APU. Do my rotor, check my rotors. Yep. Let's check my speed brakes. Good. And check the flaps. Very good. Okay. Let's turn on our yaw and pitch SAS. And hit take off trim. Radio is set. These are fine. None of this is good. Alright, let's get our CDU and Eggy going. up to <laughs> now a little bit about it for our loadout today uh, we are using we got five CBU 97s and six Mavericks 
course, are laser-designated laser rockets. Okay. That's good to go. Let's get our IFFCC on to on. And turn on data link here. All right, then we got a countdown for our for our alignment here. Uh, let's go ahead and go to our oh yeah. Let's go to the load page. <laughs> oh, I gotta wait. Excellent. Okay, so we are in business. 97s. I don't want to release those. I will release those. Let's go profile. Profile on. Let's view profile. I want to release them in CCRP. Everything else should be fine. On 21 X ray. Yep. Always nice to get back in the hog. So we're going to be casting on waypoint two. So we are good there. And almost ready on the uh, on the alignment here. All right, alignment's ready. Nav. Turn on Eggy. Let's go to steer point. Turn on the AAC. All right, so anti skid needs to be turned on, and we'll arm the seat when we get out underneath this hanger. Other than that, I think we are pretty much ready to go. Let's turn down that brightness. Looks like some aircraft going up, so Insurrect is good. Let's get a little bit of idea where we're at on um, Never know where I'm starting. And it looks like runway 05 is be active. 
So we're going to probably go out, out to the right and to the right and then to the right. A lot of activity. Pontiac 1-1, one, one. request taxi to runway. Might be a little bit here before they give us a proof. There's a lot of traffic there. I guess we can configure our around 1688. You know, I might leave that on there this time. Because that's probably what GTAX is. Oh crap, I forgot to put up AWAX. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, so we are doing a Hate 1687 is what they are doing. Just change it now. One five, one five, one Just gonna check again. Yeah, it'll be a little late. That's fine. I'll give time for those F 16s to clear out the area. Alright, how do I turn you off? That's right. It's uh, DMS left long. Slip long, give a slip long. I want to go right, but My sister probably wants me to go left. No, let's go right. Looks like it's clear. Uh, let's see which way these guys are going. They are going right. Really? 29 doesn't like me already. It's not playing the grass. Looks like a good day to kill some tanks.
69 miles, so waypoint one. I for So I'm going to see if uh, the AI may stop on the runway if they're ahead of me. Uh, it might be just for two, uh, my wingman. So we shall see. Or not, this jet looks good. Let's turn off the emergency flood. Turn that up a little bit. So 124, I'm picking up the uh, F-15s. You get him, boy. Those are the F-16 fighter suite. Oh, that doesn't make sense. Probably the F-15s. Who got there? Stay on taxiway. These guys are taking off. Infield one, engaging bandit at bullseye zero zero nine for one hundred sixty at eighteen thousand. I believe these are three and four. Looks like three and four are up. And let's go ahead and rotate. There's waypoint one. Got to fly it out ahead of us there, too. Yep. Forward one, airborne. All right, 
right, so they are on 0603. Get that wrong. There we go. Oh, I can see my group. I stay for flying. And who do we got here? F fifteen, is this my escort flight? Yes. <laughs> Six, seven. need to do is go to system there we go Right. Lots of cap in the area for me. <laughs> All right, let's go. Slow down just a little bit. six and seven so I should probably be number four so those F-15s up ahead of us
So no AWACS today. <laughs> I always forget to assign AWACS. Oh well. She had some, uh, you know, mechanical problems. She has, so you know. our target zone out there. Fifteens are pinging me pretty good right now. Seven miles. Fifteens go. Kind of want to scope the area out a little bit here. I have a tendency to rush in and get shot down. <laughs> yeah, that's what's cool about the A-10 is, see I got the ground units all Post there. SC-27. Right on. There's a bad guy. Up on my cap. Cap flat will take him. Yep, looks like they're engaging.
light. Engage armor. That's that day. Alright, so we got a bad guy right here. Just make him speed. Speed, how's Mavericks? All right, let's engage this bad boy. Take my target. Alright, they're off to the west here. Ten miles. Dead. Nice. T fifty five. Done. Tally Bandit. Damn it, got SE twenty three. might be dead. Alright.
All right. Cap is doing its thing, baby. <laughs> All right. Let's target over here. Be careful. Let's turn in. I got Cole, Ford, and Enfield doing business. I love it. <laughs> We're doing a great BMP right there. And rifle. Alright. A10 tip for the day. Always when you're maneuvering. TMS down uh, to put the um, inertial. That way you're uh, you won't get out of gimbals on your um, parking pod. And there's a BMP. Bye bye. I do like having a red smoke. I know it's a little bit of cheat, but kinda. Multiple targets there. That looks like a perfect opportunity for a CBU-97. Six miles. I don't know if we'll get the guy to the bottom right there, but it's all right. So I can my flight still up. One minute to release. seconds. Four, 
Seven seconds. Alright, pickle. And release. Some tracers. So I'm hopeful I get both of those targets. There's a third guy right down there. I might do a gun run on him. Come on, two, get up there. Speed. I didn't get any hits there. Be over here. Alright, looks like. So they're dropping far. All right, now we'll do that gun run. Alright, looks like all the targets are taken out. Good. Springfield 1, engaging bandit at bullseye 355 for 160 at 27,000. Uh oh. I lost three. Some new targets up. This looks like an interesting spot right there. That's what I love about the A10, man. Yeah. <laughs> it is key. Three, 
he's been hit. It's just residual. I don't see any other targets around the area. Okay. Hello, son. <laughs> right, let's take that far one right there. Oh, we got trees. I hate trees. Oh, 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 good job. <laughs> Somebody dropped a 97 over there. Had a baby. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. didn't lose them. I really don't want you guys engaging bandits. Fox 2. I had a baby 3. <laughs> two, MiG 23s are a little bit more easy than, let's say, MiG 29. Alright, there's my front line. Let's go ahead and get a little altitude here. I think we kind of. So four is over there.
Yeah, I'm alright with my guys taking out targets as they wish here. Not happy about that 23 off my nose though. He's working Hete over there. Alright, let's, let's get everybody back together here. Maybe not. Well, I think we've sanitized the front line over here. And I got five ground targets. A couple of Mavericks off, a couple of CBU 97s. Target pod. Just looking straight up. <laughs> uh, we can go take a peek over here in this front line. Let's do that. Are we done with fuel? We should have an enormous amount of fuel. Yep. All right, I'm going to take a peek over there at the uh, eastern front, uh, so I'll see you in a bit. All right, we are just checking out the uh, eastern front here. I am not seeing any more targets. Um, so I think we've sanitized the eastern front too. So I think it's probably time for us to go home. Might as well get a snapshot of this beautiful old town here. Wish I could have used more of my weapons, but, you know, can't complain. Alright, so let's go ahead and get to... Three, five, three go to waypoint three. Oh. Warning, autopilot. Alright, looks like our cast flights were pretty successful today. There was a lot of ground units, and uh, both on the eastern and the western front. We handled the western front pretty well, and uh, looks like the other A-10s I sent up handled the eastern front pretty well. Plus I had the uh, front line on elimination as well. So yeah, today was about taking care of those ground, <laughs> ground targets. All right, so let's egress out of here, uh, get safe, and head home. And okay, so I'll see you when we're getting on approach uh, to answer it. Uh, see you in a minute. Hey, welcome back. So we are inbound on Inseric. I just called inbound a little bit ago. I sent my flight to go ahead and uh, return to base. So they are uh, go ahead and 
pushing ahead of me here. In fact, there's one of them there. And uh, so yeah, I'll let them do their thing. I'm going to go ahead and do an overhand brake uh, in Zurich here. So I'll be for a runway 05, so I'll be uh, kind of doing a left, kind of a left arc uh, to do approach and then, then do a left base for the overhand brake there. Uh, better than F-16, but hey. Other than that, it was a pretty successful day. I think we uh, kind of kicked ass there at the front line. Uh, my my flight just hammered them, which is cool. Uh, I got five kills myself. Yep, five kills. And uh, everybody's safe. That's what's awesome. Everybody's safe, and I'm not sure how many aircraft we lost today. Hopefully not too many. So we're 17 miles out. Turk over there. Looks like we have one plane. Kind of get uh, a few planes. Maybe overhand brake may not work for me. Ask her it. Let's do it. And there's a the trick over there. Huge airport. Huge base. Pontiac 1, passing waypoint 6 at 20,000. And we're all safed up here. Countermeasures are safe. Oh, I never put on my pito heat. But all right. That's pretty good. Go ahead and turn it into initial here.
minute 15 in front of us. <laughs> we'll probably mess with his landing here. slow. <laughs> Hard to get the uh, A-10 up to 350 knots. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm at threshold. Let's go. Guys, come dropping in for landing too. Yeah, let's take a spot. Pontiac one one, clear for visual contact. Pontiac one one, request landing. That's a negative, sir. Altitude, altitude. Sir, or ma'am. Nice and easy, baby. Nice and easy. Coming in hot. Get the wrong button. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Pontiac one one. Taxi to parking area. Thank you, sir. All right, good landing. Looks like my flight's getting uh, getting ready to do their landings too. Good. 
two ship with 15 coming in very nice all right that was a very well maybe not <laughs> that was funny all right so anyways that was a really good mission today uh, a little bit long always long in the a10 just because of the long loader time um but you know i try to pause there here and there to save a little bit of time so let me go ahead and get this baby parked up here and i'll see you in debrief and we'll check out tac view too i'm curious to see how cap did okay see you in a minute all right you take care all right welcome to debrief well look at this we had 30 aircraft destroyed 116 frontline units destroyed i don't think i've ever seen that much before holy moly and then 15 ground objects um, destroyed yeah, as well. So let's go and accept the results and see my 40 aircraft that were lost. <laughs> Come on, being optimistic, right? Yeah, not too, uh, dang it. Lost two, uh, two Falcons. We lost eight Eagles. And we lost three Hornets. Ouch. And then we lost six Abrams. Yeah, that was pushing hard there, the front line there. Dang, I hate losing that many Eagles, so. Ugh, yeah, we're only going to be able to buy five. So, yeah, like I said, we're starting to get a little thin. We need to take some of those bases so we can up our uh, our budget. Uh, they lost four uh, MiG-29s. They lost nine uh, MiG-23s and four Frogfoots. And a whole bunch of frontline units there. So that, that's the good part. Okay, let's uh, let's check out Tac View now. And let me give you one second. See you in a second. Hey, welcome back to Tech View. Uh, so I just started this. Uh, pushing it at times 20 here just to get, um, just to get it. Um, there we go. Kind of sped up. So we got some F-16s taken off. God, I don't like losing all those F-15s. Let's figure out what happened there. None of the 22s went down though. So hopefully they were firing those AMRAMs. So that's the uh, fighter sweep. I do believe. Yeah, they're already engaged. Look, some MiG 29s are getting already coming in. Patriot launched. Oh. That fighter sweep did all right. Uh, well, not really. <laughs> we lost three F 16s right there. All right, we go ahead and take off. Here's my flight forming up. This is our escort flight. We're gonna... Got the F-22s doing cap. Here's the other flight of A-10s. Gonna hit the western front there. So as you can see, I came in and our front line had already done some pretty good damage here, and they did some good damage against us too. Might have been a little early to to start taking them on. There they go, launching. Took out that 20, uh, 57 there. Yep, lots of cap. Just looking for those targets. There goes 97. Yep, took them out. So overall, pretty good. I think that was three over here. <laughs> Hit these guys. No, that was four. That's right. He was working that area over there. And then, uh, yeah, here's three. Tangoing with a couple of MiG-23s. Took one of them out. Nice job of him. <laughs> oh, very cool. 
And this is me. I was just checking out that eastern front. Already a lot of damage had already happened. Yeah, we lost a lot of frontline units there. I think I was a little too aggressive. I am using a harder setting too, uh, so they're more evenly matched. Very good. So that was it for flight. We're heading back. I'm going to go back a little bit. I want to watch a little bit of the F-22s. Uh, see if they were launching their... Um, launching their AMRAMs. Let's go ahead and back up. Front line was battling at that point. So these guys are providing Tarkat in the area. Yep, not launching. What is wrong with them? <laughs> Yeah, I gave all the F-22s the C Charlie models. Yeah, see, they're doing guns on them, but they're not launching. All right, so now they're going to engage these guys, I think. I see 25s. No missiles. Nothing. So they got off a missile. Of course, the F-15s come in and start mopping them up. So maybe we'll just stick with F-15s. I just like having the F-22s because they're cool. So that is pretty much it for TACVIA. You saw my flight. These guys were doing very well here too. Um, taking out the, yeah, look at the, these guys. So these are the A-10s on the eastern front. Mopping up. You saw that one little BMP way out there. 57s are down. 57s are down. Yeah, they mopped up over here. Do they engage these guys? I think so. And before I leave this, I do want to take a peek at the Mirages. So, I, so this is the cap and seed flight or the deed and seed flight going in here. Let's pick up the pace. That was to take out the SA-6 site that I was un unsuccessful that last time taking out. So I sent these guys in. And what did I give them? Oh, they got Mavericks. I gave them Mavericks. Get in close and do some of that and then these. So they launched a couple of Mavericks, which is good. Real good. And then these F-18s. Well, they got an area. F-22 is doing nothing. <laughs> I'm peeking for the uh, 
Mirage is here. Because they're supposed to do an anti Renroy strike. There they are. Nope, they didn't even go in. They chickened out. They said, nah, we're not going to do it. Maybe that's because we there was too many air to air, or same threats still around. Bummer. F-15 is going to fly over this. Nope. Okay. Bummer. Okay. All right. Well, that's it for TAC View. Uh, I wanted to thank you for this mission number three. And um, yeah, I'll go ahead and get the next one all sorted up. And uh, might even fly that one today. So, all right. Well, you take care. All right. Bye-bye.